Wi-Fi sucks. The online sucks. There's no doubt about that. But the fact that you get to still communicate with people in Twitch chat, yeah. have a good time, all goof off and just have a blast. It, it's something that gets to get mm -hmm. recreated through Xeno and all these online events. And we just get to have fun goofing off and talking about it on the mic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, shout out to everybody that just came through to come and support. And guys, with that being said, winners finals, Jonathan Numbies, the one and only going up against, uh, wow, now this is going to be so interesting. You have a resource management character against somebody who thrives off stage. So it's not in John's, you know, best interest all the time just to sort of play his game out there. He has to challenge Steve, but making this little obstacle course for john yeah wow. and not even just the fact that you can't afford to let um uh set up and get all the resources it's very easy for cat to hunt to follow mosola is, is great for everyone else to follow as well but it's really 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 difficult to camp that ledge or hide when you have minecart and you have a giant anvil that can just land on top of your head and make it so you can't stay there the whole time mm -hmm. Wow. Um, right now, Numbleys is just trying to sort of, um, you know, get a bit of stage control, able to find the back throw, and uh, is going to try to plank. That is such a dangerous thing to do against Numbleys, Numbies to try to re-grab the, um, you know, I see a runoff side B in the near distant future, you know? Uh, yeah, honestly, very similar thought process. Uh, you, you, the Numbers isn't going to let you stay comfortable that whole time either because Numbers is also playing that same game plan. We just saw it versus Sinji a little while ago. You may have you know, played this long game, but Numbers can also heal back over time too. So it makes it easy for Numbers to feel comfortable with that. Granted, I am very surprised that forward air did not hit the, uh, the spike box. So <laughs> luckily Numbers walks away, not losing that stock. Yeah, still looking a little bit unscathed here. The next hit from Numbi should be able to do it. Like a really solid one too. Um, has deep bleeding on deck. This could be huge. From uh, not able to find it. Ooh, but Numbi's scared into going high, but still finds a way to reset with head. Over. That jab is like a warning shot. Just like smack like don't, don't poke your head above the ledge again. <laughs> it's gonna cost you. Uh, Eighty-eight percent. You know what's crazy? I, I feel like Assembly has actually hit numbers more often, and yet somehow numbers has greater. Percently right now, just because that's the nature of this matchup. You don't recognize how many times you get hit by things like the salute the sun or the header taking the first stock. That was such a bizarre setup from R2. I don't believe I actually seen that. Him hitting his side beam into the into the blocks, only for him to land and to try it again. That's man. What is, what is happening sometimes with this character, honestly? Uh, but no mash. <laughs> oh my god. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hate oh. to see it. <laughs> that That is pretty much like a seal of the deal type play against Numbers. If there's somebody you would never want to just SD and give a free stock to, Numbers is 100% one of them. You need to find a stock spike or something ASAP to get this lead back. Yeah, but honestly, if anybody's going to be finding those stocks ASAP and stealing the pace of the game, it's always been historically Numbers to do that. But uh, with the up tilt into the up smash, uh, you know, one of Steve's most menacing bread and butter is just able to get 60% on the Whoa. whole track quite consistently. Wow. The confidence in numbers to actually act out with up smash out of shield there. I mean, obviously you're stocked up and also you win the game. Uh, just most people are, are a little bit afraid to budge in that situation and numbers realize, hey, I don't care. I'm a stock up. I will absolutely swing here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, this, I mean, this is definitely one of the most confident game ones we've also seen in a while um, as well. Uh, needs to be a lot more careful about the way that he's landing on number shield, but yo, up tilt, header, sun salutation. That's, that's cool. I think, I think that's really cool. You know, that was disgusting and that just once again just goes to show i hate that so much and they use it they, they make you fear the idea that you might get caught by the command grab so they stop it and then all of a sudden you try to act and then you get hit by the forward <laughs> uh the hit it does but, so you know, much why does it do so much it's like a it's like a swiss army knife that struggle to hit the ledge is hilarious i actually don't think i've ever noticed how funny it looks when they're trying to get the ledge it's like no no no, no wait reaching for the sky and just you know a little bit desperate getting back on and then he just sinks to his I'm, death i'm also, so glad that Devin brought that look at look at, look at him struggle <laughs> that's like buzz light you're jumping from the ledge man it's just completely missed <laughs> anyways we're getting into this next game here um honestly like a big reason actually i don't, I don't even completely blame it on the sd numbers was doing so good at counter camping when mm -hmm. even though we said that it's very bad to let steve like get resources 
numbers will still do it just fine even without that that sd and possibly taking that game i actually kind of like the idea of battlefield a little bit just because it, it gives less room and it allows a bit more trap options for steve yeah just look at this putting up two blocks like that and you know keeping the platform above if john wants to get ahead of he needs to find a way to be able to squeeze it in that like actually like pixel perfect space i didn't even entirely show if that's possible at all yeah, it also makes it very annoying too because you always have to wonder is Steve gonna approach you uh, horizontally or is Steve, is Steve gonna drop a minecart off of one of the platforms? And it's one of the worst 50-50s in the world because you either A, take the hit, possibly get like pushed off, or B, you decide to wait for Tilde Fox to drop a raid with 49 people. Thank you so much. Great yeah, run so far okay. today. That was awesome. Uh, awesome run you had. Yeah. Um, but right now, just John, once again, like, reasserting control of the stage for themselves, uh, finding the opportunity to stall above that up smash. Um, wow, well, they're just kind of going blow through blow right now. Yeah, really uncertain about that option right there, trying to go for it again, and also got punished for it once more. That up smash has really been working, uh, as a counter, like, measure to whenever us trying to put out that anvil trap mm -hmm. on him. Right now, just like Numbers is taking the opportunity to go back a little bit, he understands, hey, I don't want to be challenging minecart too much, I don't exactly have an immediate tool for it, I could just be taking this time, you know, just to up my advantage a little bit more. <laughs> I love the fact that Numbers was just using the block as coverage. <laughs> you can't see me, I'm not here, it's okay, go away. <laughs> That was comical, and then just decides to land directly in front. Luckily for uh, uh did not spot dodge there, because that could have been a very solid amount of damage off of that spot dodge hit with the, uh, the header. Yeah, for sure. And again, like, uh is not properly pressuring John when he is off stage like that. He has, you know, more than enough time to find those deep leavings. Um, he's regenerating health, and he's got, you know, he's 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 in that state, you know? He's, uh, he's, he's ready to get, like, unspeakable amounts of damage. Um, that anvil, no one close to be able to hit numbers as well. You'd have to go off the stage with it. I mean, honestly, oh, as, as hilarious of a cursed image as it is, the mental image is, John Numbers really does go kind of like Ultra Instinct every once in a while. You cannot hit him. It's impossible. Once you get a solid lead, or <laughs> it's kind of like that F tilt you said before. Instead of roll get up F tilt, roll get up F smash, it just becomes so difficult to catch and punish John Numbers after a while. Yeah, and right now, John just like, again, just, you know, doing what he does best, defaults to the corner and forcing uh, just to sort of find his openings, of which, you know, John really is not offering him all too many options right now. Um, not really sure what Art can do here to initiate. Sets up the tech chase. No punish on the plat though. Yeah, honestly, it's just it's just so hard to get that opening on uh, numbers. Like Us uh, still has plenty of options and tools to like get the game back. You have Diamond Sword. You have the TNT traps. You have the ability to get really early KOs. It's just you can't find it. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. But right now, Number is wave landing onto the platform. An interesting movement mix up. Oh, uh, was not ready for it. And, you know, Number is just holding onto the stock for so long. Oh, dear. Oh. Goodbye. Please. Shake my hand. It, it, sh shake my hand. Shake, shake my, my hand. hand. Shake my hand. You know you're supposed to do projectiles? You're supposed to shield them. So, what happens if, you, if your shield breaks? You just, you just gotta hold that L. It's actually, it's actually hilarious that Oh, uh, just went straight in the chat say, I did not know that happens <laughs> and hopefully you never get caught by it again currently two two games up is numbers i really liked this switch to battlefield at first but numbers just yeah. just counterplayed the camp for sure um you know it's like steve can't necessarily prioritize resource management when he's a whole stock and a half down right so mm -hmm. as soon as john is able to get that early stock lead that whole advantage of battlefield being to you know, put up a couple of blocks, make it difficult for Heru to sort of exist in the same space as we fit. It's irrelevant because now John's like, okay, well, I don't have to pressure. I don't have to do anything except, you know, just charge my projectiles up, heal a little bit here and there, um, you know, and forcing us to be the aggressor. Uh needs to find ways to make John uncomfortable off stage. Those down tilts haven't been doing it and those anvils need to be coming off. Yeah, honestly, like it's pretty much like 
every time numbers see somebody who's camping it's it, it he's been born and bred into this like everybody else just looks like diet Sinji to him at that point he, he's used to that he understands that if you try to hang back he can just set up you almost have to play in the most mid-range passive uh, aggressive play style you've ever done or you could just get completely pushed back by numbers right now who is completely going in looking for a potential reverse forward air and follow-ups just you know at a moment's notice he's still ready with them oh yeah, that, it was, that whole setup, that was only frames away from a KO too, because Numbers almost got that reverse hit or forward air that would have taken it out. Like, this is nuts. <laughs> now Numbers with two games up actually could just stay in Oz's face, and I don't think Oz was prepared for this change of pace. Don't do anything too quick, you're gonna get hit. Oh my gosh, I really wish Numbers had pressed the trigger on the Sun Salutation. Still finds the kill, but wow, to have, you know, Heru travel at that angle, Form to recovery and then to track Steve like that, that was just that 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 positioning was just so textbook. Yeah, honestly, can we get some cat jams in the cat, uh, chat by the way? Like, it, it, this is this come the whole song. I just want to say it's definitely powering up numbers right now, it's really getting them going. And uh, honestly, I've seen a <laughs> That was exactly, so clean! <laughs> that's exactly what you have to be doing to numbers. That's the only way that you can actually properly pressure them at that position off stage. I love that adaptation from all. And right now, ooh, they're getting resources. Um, this is looking difficult. Yeah, I, I you know what? I, I hope Uh can find a way to replicate that and get this past this game because Us traps have been on point all day and I really want to see it go further. See if we can somehow find the adjustments because I love seeing people figure out ways to, to make what was an impossible matchup and again getting caught by trying to go for that up uh, that down air trap and being beaten out by up smash. This is like happening, you know, multiple times already. This is a huge shot, like call out like, uh, if you want to be- <laughs> Oh my gosh, once again, going through the same setup. Have the great idea. No on falling into it uh, but this time though ready with the preemptive header to be able to punish it i love the adaptation why did that grab not connect yeah what, yeah what? honestly they, oh and the minecart comes in and it is time to play we we're talking about the music powering up one and i said hold up this is my jam too <laughs> we're not done yet numbers looking for the anti-air of course with that up smash but uh decided to go away that time wow Number just controlling the stage right now, uh, using the, you know, minecart as a really good means of just sort of pushing the space and just sort of, like, like, they were so creative with some of these setups and that was excellent spacing on the minecart, able to cover both the platform and standing. Oh, that time it finally hit for a change. Well, what is, what's I gonna do? Just try, wait, is that a toy? You said that's on. Try to get in the numbers. I'm telling you right now, that's the Nintendo World Champ. <laughs> that will not work out in your favor. You continue that up. <laughs> Ooh, that time you see the way that numbers are recovering. He is so scared of just seeing the thought of getting hit by Anvil. Right now, drifting past it. Not able to get the ledge trap punished, but us uh, edge guarding and ledge trapping is just so on point right now. Just throwing numbers off over and over. Numbers a little bit too anti to initiate and just ends up jumping right into the down smash. I must say, the way that Uh treated that last stock and the la last two stocks was just immaculate, you know. Mm -hmm. just... oh, also, I was I was informed immediately that the uh, balance was restored. Uh, wait, I meant to get the block and taunt, which would cancel. Okay, <laughs> I didn't actually see the taunt from numbers, so balance is restored indeed and met back. That is a game going to assembly. Great job actually finding ways to make the adjustments in that game. Does it replicate, though, in game four? Mm. Um, John is again, again, like a player who is capable of just sort of not always completely deviating from the flowchart, but able to make it work in such a way where they just microspace a little bit differently. They adjust themselves at ledge, especially. Um, I think going into this next game, so as long as they're a little bit more cognizant of Anvil, I think Ah uh, is going to be able to, if Ah uh, can get those Anvils, he's going to get those stocks. Uh, if he doesn't, he's going to struggle just as he did in the first two games. Yeah, the, just uh, navigating around the off smash punishes. Granted, you know, numbers can't adjust to it too, but understanding the risk reward management is so important in dealing with the way that numbers handles the matchup because numbers is playing a bait and punish game to a T. It's working so well. Uh, mm -hmm. was somehow able to figure out in that last match, which is very difficult to do. Moving into this next game, I wonder if we're actually sticking it out on Battlefield since it is now numbers counterpick. 
Yeah, um, it's it's not impossible, I guess. Right? Like the only part that was difficult for Numbers was that like as soon as I was able to get the double blocks up, set up a bit of an obstacle course, he didn't have the space that he wants. The reason why Town and City is so different because plats be you know having the platforms be on the side like that, um, you know it's, it means I uh, can't cover his head with platform and set up double block, right? So not having access to that means once again header is going to be a bigger tool in neutral. Wow. What yeah, and this, and this was the home of the set that we saw between uh, him and Sinji as well. Just utilizing this wide stage, plenty of room to set things up. You have the center platform to go for occasional mix-ups as well as the pressure on the sides. So th this definitely, uh, this is very good comfort pick right now. But even with assembly getting in, finding this damage, I, I really want to see like a big comfortable lead from him if I'm going to feel confident in him taking this game. Yeah, wow, well, that anvil just had John right to the blast on forcing such a deep recovery. Uh, not finding the edge guard on it. John trying to go through that double fake follow up once again, but sending a little bit too much uh, follow out the first time around. Yeah, look at the, the look at this patient between two and keeps getting hit by the command grab. And luckily, we fit has the ability to stall because most other characters would have had to jump in or do something about that there and probably get hit by a forward air. For sure, ah, oh, number is going to be re-grabbing the ledge, going to be eating that down, so this time they're respecting it, understanding that, you know, sometimes get up attack on it is inconsistent um, and reactable with shield, so I like the ledge go, understanding that Steve can't punish that in time. Yeah, see, I just I, I like the commitment to kind of staying back, not going in. It's very, very similar reminiscent to the way that we were seeing the matchup being played earlier again. I know I keep referencing the Sinji matchup, but it's kind of very similar in the way that it should be played. All understands if I overcommit, I'm going to die. Uh, I got to find the right, right burst options where you try to catch him right there going for uh, some sure. citation charge. I had the right idea with like sort of falling back a little bit after hitting uh, John's shield once. But well, the, the setup is very difficult. Oh, wow. it's, 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 <laughs> what is your setup to wake up DP? Just gets up and punches him in the face with the F2. Wow. Um, yeah, and again, like, John is looking so much more comfortable here than he is on uh, on Battlefield already. Yeah, not having to navigate around those platforms, not worrying about a minecart that might just find its way across the platform, catch you with a grab or you get hit. Mm -hmm. Like, the wider stage definitely benefits numbers a lot more between these two so far. Mm -hmm. I like the way that John, uh, John has also started to jump after landing a hit. He's positioned himself in such a way to be able to punish Michael consistently. Excellent spacing of the back here. Exactly what Ud needs to even it back up. Um, wow, diamond on deck. That's going to be terrifying. Yeah, trying so hard to get it, but numbers uh, recognizing the danger at hand immediately. It, there it is. Gets the new fresh one online. This could be huge. That whole trade, that whole sequence was hilarious. I'm surprised anybody walked away from that. Oh my What's gosh. Call? Looks for a little recovery. That's the spike, yeah. My code in support is so menacing. You don't mash out, you find yourself in a blast zone. You mash out, you find yourself getting spiked. It's lose, lose. It is such a ridiculous setup for Steve. Right now, setting up the block preemptively, giving numbers the means to be able to land on time, headed for a bit of coverage. This is us game right now. Yeah, honestly, it, it is so, it is pretty much been us game to lose after getting that nice early stock, and now he finds another one. Gonna read the jump. Yes, he is on the match out. Hey, gets him with a forward air. Is he gonna drop down and go for a down air? Yes, he is. But numbers does not get the punish on yeah. landing. Uh, going back in. What's he gonna do? Tries to go for that, and then immediately goes for another follow up. That was such a cool setup as well. But John, really smart understanding to respect that in the moment. How did he squeeze in between the sun salutation and the ground? The world right. may never know. Uh, is built different. Uh, he's got some confidence that I won't see other people go for. Go for that up. Be directly at a charge sun salutation. Going for another minecart. This is starting to get a little bit difficult for numbers, but finds the one with grab. Finally, 81% still very doable. This is not in us, like, you know, favor for him to let it go on any longer. John has really started to, you know, get back a little bit of chip healing here and there. He's taking the time charging Sun Salutation and shooting it out. And let me tell you, those two percents bit by bit, they really Ooh, add up. Who's that knockback that sent so far away? But another one of those will take it out. What's he gonna do? It's the minecart, probably. Oh, but never oh, mind. I thought I don't... John was gonna live that. I don't know if that was a special in the blast zone or accidentally going a bit high. I definitely 100% believe that they're going to live that. Let's get a replay on that in a second. I want to see exactly what happened there. But, I mean, we're getting a game five. I kind of wanted it. And here it is. Did he do anything up there? I can't tell because it's underneath. He jumped. Yeah. 
Yep, yep. Um, he, I, I think he used. We fit. I think he did header. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that header actually pulled him into the blast zone up in the top right corner. That is, well, I mean, unfortunate for one, but a blessing for another. One man's trash is another's treasure, and uh, he's definitely happy about that. Let, let me tell you, I think, I think the day that John actually dies at, at the edge of the stage like that is the day that hell freezes over. Uh, th that was that was like a very uncharacteristic death of John as well. You know? Yeah, and and this is this is a numbers who has been on fire all night long, and we are getting into a position where Ah uh, might actually be able to take the winner side of grand final if numbers can't stop it. Because before numbers was making this matchup look not so much free, but very difficult, and Ah uh, has just been so on point running it back. Yo, right now, like Ah uh, has nothing but dollar signs in his eyes, my friend. This is a huge pot that we're both playing for really high stakes right now. Um, and only winning his finals, nobody wants to be going out on a disadvantage so early. Um, uh, like, you know, once again, just covering themselves with a lot of these double blocks, making it difficult for John to get in there. Oh, uh, is going in right now. You can see he's swinging a lot. He's looking for object coverage hits. He's just trying to prevent j numbers from jumping around like that. He caught him again. He's starting to make it known to numbers. Your air is not free to be traveling around and I will control this space. Well, Chad is just trying to find any attempt to jump in, but I have to say, Uz's keep away game is actually impeccable right now. Um, you know, it's like it's like trying to see like John navigate through an obstacle course, and by the time he gets from A to B, Uz on the opposite side of the stage. Yeah, which is pretty nuts considering how good numbers is usually at dealing with people who do that. But the all of these blocks don't mean a damn thing the sun salutation if you jump directly into it so all of a sudden the percent lead getting into his favor but you can see us still looks very confident in the way he's trying to get his resource management it's just on numbers to actually close this stock out first because he needs to make it so all has to approach and again like you absolutely correct this is so evocative of numbers and sinji just in the match prior um this is looking Ooh. so similar finds a downer again oh tries to go for the pineapple but john holding on to that double jump beautifully able to maneuver around the block and now has a fighting chance once again at the stock sitting at quite the percent lead good oh. back off you know respecting the anvil look press one if y'all got hit by that setup most of us in this chat and in this room got hit by that setup i am so surprised by numbers jumping away avoiding that and, and uh, like e even though he's in behind the percent again i'm still very confident in the way that uh has been doing this game and rising up here not gonna do it just yet numbers really needs to close the stock out he, he he cannot let this get to the point where it continues to crawl away like this but take a look at this like the longer this goes on numbers gets more sun salutations gets more deep breathings in and as a result he is taking this lead that uh built for himself and making it not existent i love the usage of the header there just sort of smacking uh, out of the down tilt oh boy oh buddy all right what's the call tries to go for if, like the anvil pressure just try to keep his landing safe it uh just looking for the opening but here here it is here's the issue i uh, was able to stay back and wait before but now because he has to approach numbers is getting so much damage he's been able to look look at the difference now because i uh, has to play numbers game now Every single hit that Ugg gets, John is able to throw out already five, six sun salutations and make all of that damage back up. Ugg hasn't been able to get anything started for the longest time, but finally closes out the stock at the ledge, regardless of the percent that it's going to deal so much knockback. Yeah, now what do you do? You have to like you you have to get an early stock. You need you have to find a spike. Uh, because playing the long game is just not going to work in your favor. Numbers yep. is willing to, to just chill, get that health back, even though he's at zero right now. But as the match progresses, every little bit of a hit that you get, if you don't push out and get something out of it, Numbers is going to get it right back. I like the, I like oh the my God. jump and that pressure from John because he was trying to bait out a preemptive anvil. And now we're seeing John with a whole stock lead, a fresh stock lead. That is the second time we've seen Weepit just lunge, but getting nothing in the process. Oh, if he read that, if he knew that he was going to stall, got him with a forward air, maybe drop it down to another one. That could have been in a stock for all right away. Catches him with the command grab. Can he close this out? Can he find a way to get this? Almost catches the forward smash. That could have been an even game right there. Quite, but tell me, how did John take 77%? I feel like I must have missed something. It's just... It, it... Wow. 
Oh my gosh, uh, John had the right idea trying to sort of catch uh, from the minecart with an up smash. Not able to find it though. Once again, good catch on the high recovery. This could be it. John going for it all, finds himself at the ledge, but honestly, he's A-OK. -okay. Luckily for all, he was able to actually air dodge past that because that could have been a back air and ending the game. And John Numbers is just a- oh! He's a he's a dead body. That is a dead man walking. We got one more stock apiece here in game five. Oh, sitting at 109, but has Diamond Sword online. Numbers also going for the cheap mechanic in deep breathing. This could be a ridiculously close last stock here. Oh my God! Everybody's just <gasps> ponging back and forth. Steve just heavy enough to be able to live the grounded spike. Michael is back onto center stage. Nandu stands the time to slow it down and shield so that he doesn't eat a sun salutation. John doing what he does best, baby. Rolling from ledge. Getting oh, back on the center stage. Oh, getting caught out of the Minecraft. He's trying to be trying so hard to be careful, ah. but directly getting up in front of numbers is never the right play. That is such a scary spot, but numbers is putting out those F tilts while having next to no percent was the right call. Numbers moves on into winner's side of grand finals. Guaranteed second place. He's already guaranteed for himself a pretty penny in his pocket. Numbers played this set so well. He made all the right adaptations towards the end. Uh, but wow, I was looking kind of scary at the end. I don't know how he got so much damage on that second stock so quickly, but he was honestly just able to put it on. So that means John Numbers going to be moving on to winning side of Grand Finals. Uh, going to be dropping to Losers Finals. Um, and that means coming up in Losers Semis, we have Sinji going up against Mr. E. How do we have Sinji? Uh, we have, we have Pac-Man, We Fit. <laughs> Can we put a big rip in chat for Mr. E? Mr. E has to get through Sidney's Pac-Man potentially. If and then after that has to get through us Minecraft Steve. Yeah. And then after that would have to get through John Numbers. Uh do you just intentionally take the, the, the L at that point? <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Tonight. So 